I just wanted to say thank you, King Richard. Um, you are one of the funniest prank callers out there of like the three or four that I've heard. So like, I don't know. That's not not an achievement. Um, just. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Get ready, set, go. It's another prank call show. Steady flow of confetti thrown. Already so many, y'all know. Plenty when those free uploads drop, they all cop their phones. For his royal highness, loyal clients watching thrones. From APC, yes, to Z and xylophone. Warning owners of storms blowing outside their homes. Calls always leave me smiling. Boomers by his antics seems that Cody no Nami's as underground as his cabins be at. Sewage lines spewing, helicopters fluing the nuisance. Skewing time fluid is tachyonic movement. If you can join his Patreon, prove it and get a shit ton of stickers, which King Richard ships out to build up his figures with. Signature wrist recording, older folks on corded phones. Dickish and different, horrible. Merch stores affordable. It's worth it for the boner stoves. Discord's also open door in the midst of Winston and Noga. What more are you hoping for? Thank you, Wanna Know My Name, for that crazy fresh song. I don't claim to understand the youth and their jivey sounds, but I appreciate you putting yourself in harm's way by entering into a rap battle with Rince Prius on my behalf. Rince, Wanna Know My Name, has thrown down the gauntlet. Better step up your game, biatch. Hello everyone, you are listening to another Prank Call Show, episode 32. Today is Dingtember 8th, 2020. I'm your host, Ira Garrett Jumping. Today's show is going to be a short one. Very sorry for that, but I'm in the midst of moving and it's total chaos. The fact that I'm even getting a regular episode out this month is thanks in no small part to Phi, Eric W, LGB Terminator, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Phone Losers of America. They are five of the wonderful supporters helping produce the show at patreon.com slash another prank call show. And thank you to the new people who signed up recently. No Console, Nickna TX, Bob Vance, Dobby, Moist Chungas, Pebola, and Anthony S. And speaking of the Patreon, let's see who the winner is of the Spreadshirt drawing thing this month. It is Sam F. Woohoo, Sam. You get an APCS t-shirt or mug. Look out for my email. And just so everyone knows, the APCS Spreadshirt is not just for this drawing. Anyone can go to shop.spreadshirt.com slash APCS and get themselves some APCS related crap. It's not just shirts and mugs. Okay, now that we got that crap out of the way, oh my God, you guys, it's Ding Timber. What is Ding Timber? For the 12 of you who don't know, Ding Timber is a PLA tradition where every September, listeners of the prank show machines go out and leave notes on cars that say something like, sorry, I dinged your car. Please call me at blah, blah. Roy over at the Snowplow Show is the founder, of course, but in recent years, it's been opened up to other hosts, and I have the privilege of being one of them this time. If you want to participate, go to worldofprankcalls.com slash dingtember. Please read the entire page, or at least the tips on leaving notes. Basically, be extremely careful and do not do any actual damage. Just leave the note and get the hell out of there. I think that should be enough explaining. Let's start the show. Before each ding call, you'll hear the voicemail from the car owner, such as this one. Hey, Rachel, my name's David. Um, just wondering if you know a rich king um, left me a note in my car with this number. If you could give me a call back, 904. Thank you. Hello. Oh, hey, this is Richard. I left a note on, I guess it was your car a few days ago. Yeah, how's it going? I'm doing okay. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. What was? What's your name? My name's David. Oh, hey, David. Yeah, I um, okay. I left the note. Yeah, I uh, I didn't really see anything. Oh yeah, it was it was kind of like you have to look at it in a certain light near the rear bumper there. Okay, on the driver's side or uh, the rear bumper, you said. Yeah, rear bumper. You you don't have a bumper on your driver's side, do you? <laughs> no. I didn't remember that, but I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you leaving a note. Yeah, oh yeah, no, it was, it was the right thing to do. I just, you know, I had the trunk open for a little bit there while I was keeping some of the boxes in there. 
Okay. Well, the the device I used to open your trunk, it might have like worn down the metal a little bit. The device you used to open my trunk? Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of how how the ding, well, I mean it's more of a scuff, but like I said, it's just kind of on the inside of the trunk. Okay, I guess I'm confused. You opened my trunk? Yeah, here's the deal. I was um, you know, I just kind of wanted to finish up early, you know, I'm an Amazon delivery driver. And I still had like four or five boxes that I was supposed to deliver. And I figured, you know, I'd just kind of knock off early and make a few bucks on the side. So I just kind of posted up and I was, I was selling stuff out of your trunk for a little bit. You know, it just kind of looks a little more legitimate. Okay. I don't understand what you're saying, buddy. Uh, well, one of the boxes was a little heavier than I thought. And it kind of got away from me. And that's when it slipped and it kind of... Fell into I hear your... what you're saying. Now, listen, why you said you were, you were in my trunk. Yeah. Well, I wasn't inside of it. I just had some boxes in it. I was just selling the, you know, the Amazon. You said you used something to open my trunk. Yeah. It's just kind of a flapjack type thing. Just kind of opened up the trunk. That didn't really do anything. It's more. Well, why just, would you do that? Uh, just selling it, you know, just selling boxes on the side of the road or just in a parking lot. You no, know, no, no. Why would you use something to open my trunk? Uh, well, I was uh, trying to explain. You cut me off. Selling them out of a trunk looks more legitimate than just kind of selling them willy-nilly, you know? I thought you were on a bicycle. Uh, what? Yeah, weren't you on a bike? No. Okay, now here's the funny thing. My trunk doesn't have a key thing, so... Um, yeah, well, you can just, like, where the latch is. Yeah, there's no key thing, buddy. I, I didn't say there was a key thing. Yeah, you said you op you put a device on the key thing to open up the trunk. No, well, you know, like the lock thing, the little latch. Oh, you did? Yeah, just, you know, it kind of slides in there, and that's how I opened it. But I didn't... Gotcha. You know, but that didn't cause the damage. It was just the cardboard box that... I gotcha. All right, now I'm in my car. Do we want to stop playing games or what? Why would you call me back? What do you want? What do you mean, games? You left a stupid note in my car. Yeah, I thought that was the right thing to do. What do you mean, games? Dude, I know you weren't in the back of my truck, in my car, so... Um, I, I wasn't in it. I know you didn't fucking open it, jackass. My daughter was in the car, you dumb fuck. So oh. shut the fuck up. What do you want, asshole? You left your daughter alone in the car? What do you want, asshole? Um, I just... You don't know anything about it. If that's what it was about, you don't know shit about it. I was watching the car from my from where I was, so what the fuck do you want? Uh, well, Is that what it's about? Um, well, maybe you looked away for a few, I, I, maybe you're confused. Is that what it's about? Maybe. No, not a few minutes. Not maybe. a few minutes. I had my eye on her the whole time, jackass. Oh, okay. Well, then how come you didn't see me leave the note if you had your eye on the car the whole time? Uh, don't be a dumbass. Oh, I know yeah. you're on a bike, you stupid fuck. How do you think I know that? Oh, uh, okay. You well, you're I... fucking so smart? Yeah, I think I'm smarter than you because I wasn't on a bike. around because I pound your fucking face in, you piece of shit. Oh, no, you, you wouldn't. ever get near my daughter again, you fucking pedophile, I'll fucking kill you. I wasn't you near me? your daughter. You hear me? I wasn't on a bike and I wasn't near you your daughter. You hear me, you pedophile? Uh, why are you telling me? You're a fucking pedophile. You're the one that left her alone in the car by you're yourself. You're a pedophile. I was watching her the whole time, you jackass. Well, first of you all, think I'm... think I'm that fucking stupid to leave my daughter in the car unattended i think I you're confused listen to me you where i was you piece of shit listen motherfucker stupid bike listen motherfucker i, I think all about it she said you came up and put the note right in the fucking window and it couldn't have been more than 20 seconds because okay. i was right there watching okay well your daughter's a liar because i wasn't on a bike and maybe you're Dude, just confused on when i left up. it maybe you're what just do you want is this is this because my daughter was in the car i saw her the whole time so is this what all this is about and why do you keep calling me a pedophile because you are. You're playing with little kids in cars. Just no, stay away from I wasn't. It. First fine. of all, first of all, motherfucker, I'm gay, okay? So I wouldn't be doing anything with what a little girl. Motherfucker? Mm. Yeah, I called you that a motherfucker. That was a huge story, selling stuff out of the back of my car. You're so amazing. Yeah, yeah, I was. But you know what? I'm glad I scuffed your car now because you're just being a huge asshole. You didn't asshole. scuff anything. You didn't touch it. You just thought you'd try to prove a little point that my daughter was in the car, but I was watching the whole fucking time. You're just so dumb. Yeah, I didn't see you know any... what? Bad people leave their kids in cars and they don't watch them because stupid pedophiles like you. There you go with the lowbrow insults again. No, no, no. You're turning that. Don't. No, I called you a pedophile a long time ago. So good try, buddy. Yeah, well, it's kind so of. So is a... this what this is about? Do you want to like come talk to me or something? 
No, I didn't see a kid in there, so I think you're just confused on when I left the note. But you know what? Basically, just fuck it. Oh, wait. So so why are you making up the story about being in my car, then? I wasn't in your car. I never said I was in your car, Opening stupid. Open the fucking tailgate, you dumb fuck. Yeah, because, you know, it's easy to sell Amazon boxes out of the, the back of a truck. Oh, God. You need a wife, man. You need to stop leaving your kids you alone in the car. I thought you didn't know there was a kid in the car. I didn't. I didn't see one in there. That's why I think you're just confused. The I made that up, too. Oh, okay. Well, then you're a liar. <laughs> like you are, that you sold stuff out of the back of my car. You're so dumb. Okay, well, anyways. And it, okay, so what's the point? Do you want to come see me? No. You said you're going to smash then my why, face why in. Why are you calling me? Why are you calling me and making up all this fucking bullshit? What's your point? I wasn't making up anything. I dinged your car, but at this point, you're just a complete oh, asshole. jackass. You jackass. You said you're selling stuff out of the back of my car. Don't yeah. be dumb. What's Don't dumb about dumb. that? I was fucking looking at my car. Okay, first of all, it was at night, stupid. Okay, so you wouldn't have even seen me. It was dark. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I think you're just completely confused or on drugs oh or something. Oh my god, you're so dumb. My daughter watched you drop the note in the car. It was fucking 11 o'clock in the morning, you dumb fuck. No, Shut no. up. Oh, it was No, no, oh no, I'm gay, no. <laughs> Is that your impression of a gay person? No, that was my impression of you, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. I, that's why you won't come see me, because you're a little fucking coward. Well, no, because I'll, I'll, I'm going to come clean. I'm really turned on right now the sound of your voice it's giving me a huge boner does not surprise me i'm a pretty attractive guy yeah well and that's why I, the first one. I couldn't stand to be around you i wouldn't be able to control myself okay so why not just tell me when you called what why not just tell me when you called me that you're attracted to me well i wasn't at first but the way you're yelling at me like that's just that's kind of my kink well this is what i do with fucking idiots <laughs> okay well anyways just hang up the phone you fucking asshole no, I got all day. You oh. call me. Okay, well, this is going nowhere. So. Well, what do you want to do? All right, fine. Uh, yeah, the damage looks really bad. Are you going to pay for it? Oh, no, there is no damage. You said there was. You said you scuffed it up. Yeah, well, the lock well no, that was all a lie. See, now you're just trying to pull an insurance scam. Well, what are you talking about? You said, it, why is it a lie? Why are you lying then? Well, because it's just a prank call, stupid. No, it's not a prank call. You hit it. I have the note. I have everything. I have your number. I'm going to contact the police. Oh, don't call the police. I didn't leave the note. Some One of your friends left the note. And they left my number on it. And they told me to mess with you. Oh, what friend? I'm not going to tell you. Because you're being a nasty... Because you're being a nasty bastard. Okay. So I have your number. I have the note. Okay. Well, it's a fake number. He is... That's the number you actually just called me from. Yeah, so, I know. It's it's called caller ID spoofing, you stupid idiot. That's fine. I have the number. I have the note. Okay, well, again, it's a fake number. I'm going to call the police. I don't and even... I'll, and I'll make the insurance claim that way. That's okay. Fine. Insurance claim for a prank call? No, for you hit my... Uh, you hit the back of my car. Oh, I didn't hit it, though. I wasn't even there. I don't even live in the state. Hello? Oh, hi, Marianne? No. Ah, shit. Who's this? Who is this? This is Cody with County. You haven't identified yourself well enough for me to talk to you. Okay, well, I'm not asking you for any information. I'm looking for Marianne. Hello? you got a phone number. It's Cody. You know Cody from County? Hello? He wouldn't identify himself. Bullshit. I said him. My name is Cody. You're not identifying yourself well enough for me to talk to you. And he says, I'm not trying to ask you information. I'm trying to find Marianne. Yeah, but and I said, you're not identifying yourself. Who are you? He, uh, I mean, he, he, well, I didn't want to go with it. It was, it was a mess up call. Hello? So I'm not trying to get any information. Hello? Hi, Marianne. Is Bob available? Uh, who are you? This is Cody. I'm with <laughs> County. I'm over here in the community. That's not enough. Tell me your, who, who are What's your last name? No, Nomsky. I'm in the community development department. Uh huh. I'm calling regarding the construction work that's going to be going on in front of your house tomorrow morning over there on New okay. Street. Okay. Can I talk to you or is Bob available? This is Bob. 
Um, you don't sound like Bob. You sound like Marianne. Hello? Hi, Marianne. Can you quit impersonating Bob and just put him on the phone? Hi, this is Kevin. And, uh, my dad just came out and found a note on the seat of his car um, on Street. Uh, actually, it's on Street. It says that um, whoever Winston is ran into his car. We didn't see any damage. I just wanted to touch base. That's all. Give me a call and you get a chance. My name's Kevin977. Thanks. Hello? Oh, hey, is this Kevin? Yes. Hey, Kevin. It's Mom. I was calling about the, the note that I left on, I guess oh, it was... Oh, yeah. Was it your dad's car? Yeah, it was my dad's car. He was my son's birthday party. He was just here for a few minutes, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we didn't really see any damage, so we were just kind of curious. Oh. And I didn't notice anything. Did you back into it, like the front of it? Oh, no. No, I didn't even... Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't see it with the naked eye. You'd probably have to run a black light over it. Or... Oh, you you'd kind of hit the side as you were going by or something? No, I didn't hit it with my car. Um, I wasn't even in a car. I was just kind of walking down the street. Like I said, we, we I didn't see any damage, so... Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't was be able to... You were on the sidewalk walking by? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you wouldn't be able to see it with the naked eye, but I... um. I don't want to be too graphic or anything, but I uh I finished on on your dad's hood. What? It's just a thing, you know. I just just a thing I have. I anyways, like I said, I'll I'll take care of it, you know, whatever way you want. But yeah, if you run a black light over it, you'd probably see what I'm talking about. That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard in my life. You fucking got something wrong with you? Uh, well, no. I mean, it's a protected disability, so that's. I mean, really, what you just said, that's kind of hate speech, but, you know, I understand that you're upset. Fuck off the hate speech. You freaking jerked off on my dad's car. How fucked up is that? I mean, it's it's called mechanophilia. It's it's a real thing, you know? It's it's just something yeah, that I have to live it's a real with. Thing. Well, don't go by my house again, or you'll have another real thing. Well, I... What does that mean? If you ever do that again, I'll fucking break you in half. That's what it means. Break me in half? What the fuck is your problem, dude? I told you it's a disability. It's not something that I can control. It's just an urge that I had. I, I'm, it's an urge that you had. You were going down the freaking street. I, I'll tell you what. Just well, I live away from my house. I live I near you. Where you live. I live near you. So, like, I walk down that street all the time. So, I mean, yeah. Like, I've seen that car before. I'm sexually attracted to your dad's car. I can't help it. You're fucking strange, dude. Well, I told you I'd take care of it. Why are you getting so mad? We can exchange insurance or, or whatever you want me to do. There's no need for threats. Yeah. Stay the hell away from my dad's car and just don't fucking ever come near the house. Well, it was consensual, okay? It's not like I... Listen to me. I didn't force myself upon the car. I don't care what the fuck your problem is. Go the other way or stay the hell away from the vehicles. Well, I walk down that street all the time. You can't tell me where to walk. It's a free country. Right. Well, when I see you, fucking, it won't be so free. Well, you don't know what I look like, so what are you going to do about it, tough guy? Just stay the hell away from the fucking car, that's all. It's consensual. We're in a committed relationship at this point. Jeff. Oh, hey, Jeff. It's Cody with the city of... Uh-huh. Hey, I just needed to let you know tomorrow morning there's going to be a city work truck outside of your house. Outside of my house? Yeah, well, just out front there. They're just going to be doing a little bit of work, just kind of at the edge of your lawn. And I'm just supposed to kind of give you a heads up in case you're around. Who, who are you calling? Uh, I don't. This, I live in the. Yeah. Well, this is Jeff, right? You're over there uh, on. Yes. Yeah, they're just going to be there for about an hour or two, just putting in that dispenser at the edge of your lawn. What kind of dispenser? The Planned Parenthood dispenser. What are you doing in doing this at my house? Because this isn't even in the city of. Um, well, yeah, but you're still within our jurisdiction when it comes to you know housing and neighborhood services, things like that. Basically, there's just going to be a Planned Parenthood dispenser just going in near your mailbox there. No, I I disagree with this completely. What do you mean? Is this a joke? Um, no. What I, I mean, I'm in a gated community, and you've got. Yes, yeah, it's, it's for and, the, and I mean, there's no. I mean, I'm living on a cul-de-sac. Yeah, it's for the community. So anyone that you know wants to just practice safe sex and and things like that, send me a copy email right now while we're talking, because I'm going to have security out there too. And oh, I, no. this is not acceptable. 
Well, yeah, no, it's not a security matter. It's no, I'm going to have security there tomorrow morning to well, why? <laughs> get you off of my property. Well, no, I won't be there. It's going to be a city work crew well, that's putting it in. But Well, whoever is there, you can tell them that – is this – I mean, I, who approved this? The city council. You know, it's just part of the – We're not in the city. Yeah, but you're under our jurisdiction for the – you know, for these kinds of services that we provide. I don't understand I do not, what, the, what the objection is. You know, it's just for public safety and, and health and things like that. I don't see why you'd be against it. Well, no, I... That is not, you know, that is not appropriate to put it by somebody's house, and I am... Well, it's not going to be by I your mean, house. It's at the end of your driveway, you know, just down by the, by the mailbox. I, this is just... I mean, don't you want people to practice safe sex, all that kind of stuff, and be healthy? Yes, but you can put that at at a public place. You do not put that at a private place. Well, no, it's just, it's just part of the new program, you know, because we're trying to expand awareness, you know, of Planned Parenthood. Email me something about this right now, and... Uh, don't, well, you don't need to yell at me, geez. I mean, no, I'm pretty upset about this, because I had not seen anything about this. Okay, well, I mean, that doesn't change the fact they're going to be there tomorrow at... About 9.30. I mean, yeah, I just, <laughs> I mean, no, this is, I mean, we're we're selling our house right now. I, you, If you put. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with the Planned Parenthood. I mean, if anything, it increases the property value. That's bullshit. Oh, you're bullshit. Don't take that language with me. No, I mean, this is, uh, I cannot believe I'm getting this call. I have not seen anything about this and if you can't email me something right now give me your your name and contact number you're cody who no namsky how do you spell that t-h-a-t t-h-a-t mm -hmm. and man you just just take a chill pill you know you're getting all huffy well, no, puffy. But you, i mean well, we don't even live in the city of i still don't understand how in the world the city of I can do something quit out saying here. Well, why can't I quit? I mean, that's what it says. The city of... Yeah, I know, but it's just annoying because later I have to bleep this for records. You have to bleep this? Of yeah, just don't worry about it. Anyways, look, just what else do you need? Because I, I got a bunch of shit to do. Can not be tying up the phones with you all day? This is like some kind of... Something out of candy camera or something. Candy camera? There's no cameras. Yeah, we're on the phone, dummy. You better not have somebody putting anything in front of my house tomorrow at whatever time. And what do you even care? You're moving, right? You said you're selling your house. What's a big deal? I mean, this is what, I mean. You okay? Whatever. I, no, I, it's not whatever. I don't know what this is about. It's for the public, you know, like we're trying to get it into the neighborhood so people just practice safe sex more. That's all. You could use it too, you know, if you want. It's for everyone. What? I, this is re, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I I have no idea who you are. I already told you. I am you. offended that this is coming from the city of. Well, who is your supervisor? Um, that would be Ira. He's here. I can put him on the phone if you want. And your name is Cody Who Pratt. Cody Nonamski. Yeah, let me talk to your supervisor. Okay, hold on a second, Ira. Yeah, come talk to this asshole. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, is this Jeff? Mm-hmm. Hey, this is Ira with the city of S I understand you had some questions about the dispenser that's going in your yard. <laughs> well, if this is real, there will be, you won't, you know, it will not be allowed and there will be lawsuits. Um, no, it, I can file your complaint, but uh, it's well within our rights to install these dispensers. You know, it's for public health and safety. And I guess at this point, I should also point out that in about five or six months, there's going to be a marijuana dispenser just right there. Oh, that's, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'm surprised you haven't, it's been in the news. I'm surprised you haven't heard about it. What is this being done from the city of you're calling? Uh, what? I didn't understand I'm, the question. I've got to go. Where are you going? Hello, I'm calling for Richard. 
My name is Myra. My number is 108. Um, he said that he uh, dinged my car last night at Walmart parking lot. Um, could he please give me a call? Thank you. Hello? Hello? Whoa, man, what was that noise? My motorcycle calling. Oh, man, I thought I was calling Lucifer or something. This is Richard. Is this is this Myra? I'm the one that left the, yeah. the note. Who's calling? This is Richard. I'm the one that left the note on your car the other day. Oh, how you doing, Richard? Uh, I'm doing all right. How are you? Okay. All right, now that we got past the small talk. Yeah, sorry about that. Didn't mean to, to ding your car. That's okay. You know, I don't see any damage. Oh, yeah. It's it's kind of hard to spot. You know, you got to probably look at it in a certain light. It's kind of like on the underneath of your, your side view mirror. Oh, on the front? On, yeah. the, on the driver's side? Uh, yeah, yeah, driver's side. Oh, it's to hit the mirror? Yeah. Or well, under the mirror? Uh, under the mirror, just like the, okay. the casing. Yeah. See, what happened is I was... um. I was piloting my, my drone. I'm a drone pilot for Amazon. And mm -hmm. a, as I was kind of lifting off from, from the Walmarts there, um, my readout was saying that the battery was low. And, you know, I had to keep up my quota to make the delivery. So I just, I just uh, you know, extended the, the siphon tube on the drone. And I was, just using, I was just using your car battery to kind of recharge the drone. And once I was done, I just kind of bumped it a little bit, bumped the joystick. Yeah, just kind of careened into the to the side view mirror there and i could see on the camera that it left kind of a, a little bit of a scuff underneath the driver's side side mirror on the on the, on the driver's side of the car yeah it was dark you know so it was kind of hard to tell i was look, looking at it with the infrared camera on the drone I, ha I had your hood open and everything I was, I was siphoning off the charge from your battery just to top off How you have my hood open my car locked um oh i just you know the drone has a little a Jimmy Bar kind of thing on it, but you know I, well, I don't feel huh. what opened up the hood and was charging the battery. You know he wasn't. So my alarm would have went off. Oh no, no, the drone has an EMP thing. It, it disables. Well, ain't no drone been under my hood, and ain't my hood haven't been open, so I ain't worried about that. Oh yeah, no, I, I had it open for a good ten, fifteen minutes while I was charging. Well, up you the know drone. that's a, that's against the law, right? Uh, no, there's no law against that. Yeah, you fuck with my car without my permission. That is against the law. No, I didn't fuck with it. I just siphoned some electrons off of your battery. That's you know, crazy. Hello? Well, hi, Steven? Yes. Hey, Steven. It's Cody with the city of... Okay. Hey, I just needed to let you know there's going to be a work truck in front of your house tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, Doing what? Uh, they're just going to be installing that new dispenser in your lawn there, just kind of next to your mailbox. A dispenser for what? Uh, the Planned Parenthood dispenser that's going in for your community. You didn't get the letter that we sent out a couple of months ago? No. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, maybe you got lost in the mail or something. Yeah, there's just going to be a Planned Parenthood dispenser, you know, a contraceptive dispenser. Uh, just kind of right at the edge of your driveway there. Okay, this is a joke. Um, no, sir. What do you, what do you mean? I really don't consider Planned Parenthood dispenser in my in my yard. Uh, well, just uh, you know, just next to your mailbox, not really in your yard. Who are who? I'm I'm calling the police and reporting this as a scam call. Sir, this is I'm with the yes. sir. I'm with the Housing and Neighborhood Services Department. This this isn't a scam. How would it be a scam? There is no such. There is no such organization in the Yes, there is, sir. My director is. I, I don't understand why you're reacting like this. It's this is just a courtesy Who's call. The city you. manager. Sir, this isn't a scam. How would it be a scam? I'm not asking you for any information. Well, for one thing, I'm not in. For one thing, I'm not in the city. Well, you yeah, but you're still within our jurisdiction for community services and things like that. I did not. Re I did not receive any letter from you, and I do not. Uh, okay, well maybe. Planned Parenthood is. Maybe you thought it was so John? I, as far as I'm concerned, as I'm, far as I'm concerned, this is a scam call. Sir, I'm not asking you for money or information. How, if, how would it be a scam? And if they show up tomorrow morning, I'm going to call the police. It's not a police matter, sir. They're a city work crew. Well, Ben, 
They're going to be. It'll be in the morning. They're going to have a city work I truck. I have no idea why Planned Parenthood would be doing anything like this. It's for public safety. Private organization. It's for public safety and, and and health. You don't understand safe sex and contraceptives. It's it's a pretty basic service. Sir, I'm, I'm I'm hanging I'm hanging up. Look, I, I really don't understand why I you're. Don't... I don't understand why you're reacting like this. It's it's a public service that because we provide. Planned Parenthood does not cooperate with city government like this. Okay. Um. Yeah, they do now. It's part of our new public outreach program. What's your last name? It... What's your last name? Nonomsky. Nonomsky. Correct. Okay, thank you. I will call the city manager and okay. follow up with him. Well, thank you. I got this number for Rich. Uh, something about he dinged my car. Could you please give me a call back? My name's John on S Street. 553, thanks. Bye. Blast. Oh, hey, is this John? Yes. Hey, this is Richard. I left a note on your car. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I just, um, I left that note on there a few days ago. Did you see the ding? Let go look. Here's the thing. I was doing a DNA swab off your door handle. And, you know, I got, I got the sample and everything. No problem there. I got, I got the test results. Everything came back clean. Good to go. But when I was scraping off the, the sample, I just kind of, I dropped the little scalpel thing. And it just kind of scratched the paint a little bit. Oh, and he, are you a police or who are you? Oh no, no, definitely not. No, I'm just um, I'm just kind of like an amateur scientist. I just kind of go around town doing DNA swabs off of doorknobs and and handles, things like that. So you go around the random cars and run their DNA. I don't get it. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Yeah, it's not very common, so you probably wouldn't have heard of it. The guy that put the note on the car, he said he was doing a DNA sample. Oh, who are you talking to? My girlfriend. Oh, that's not involved the women. Yeah, Yuck. Well, dude, isn't that kind of illegal to touch somebody else's car? No, it's not illegal. There's no law that you can cite. So you were doing a DNA sample on my car. Yeah, well, not of your car. Your car doesn't have DNA. Silly Billy. Well, you know that sounds really weird, right? Yeah, what do you mean? Touching somebody's car for DNA samples. Well, I had gloves on. I, you know, I had a protective gear on everything, so I didn't, I didn't leave any of my genetic material behind. Yeah, but that's kind of private property, wouldn't you think? Uh, well, I didn't take it. You're acting like I stole your car or something. I just scraped some genetic material off your door handle. No big deal. It's kind of weird or something. Is that what the problem is? Uh, what do you mean? You know, like strange, like weird. I mean, that's your opinion, but I mean... Oh, it's pretty much a fact. I mean, anybody that goes around touching some other people's cars, scraping DNA off it, at random, no less. Yeah, it's well... Pretty, pretty freaking weird, what do you think? I mean, like, you maybe need to go get, get some psychiatric help or something. No, see, you don't understand science. You sound like one of those anti-science rubes. Well, I understand one thing. It's my fucking car, bitch. Okay. You shouldn't be touching it. Why are you calling me a bitch? Because you're a little faggot, I can tell. You shouldn't be touching other people's shit. Well, That's I don't, why. I don't see what my sexual orientation has to do with Come anything. Over here, let's talk about it. I mean, would it matter if I was gay or straight? No, it'd matter if you're weird, though. Well, okay. So you think I'm weird. I left the note, though, so I'm going to take care of the damage or whatever. Just you don't really? have to... How are you going to do that? Well, okay. I left the note, and you have my number, so that's the purpose of this call, dummy. Yeah? Because why don't you come over here and we'll talk about it? Uh, Why? We're talking well, right now. Said to take care of the damage. Well, okay. Well, we can exchange information over the phone, stupid. We're in the middle of a pandemic. We don't need to be talking face to face. Oh. Stay the fuck away from my house, you fucking weird fuck. Don't ever come near me again, all right? I wasn't stay near the... you. Yeah, you were near my car, so just stay the piss away from my stuff, all right? Well, the good news Go is... Don't weird somewhere else, Sir, right? the good news... Listen, the good news is I was able to resequence your genome. What? The... Well, the good news is, is I was able to resequence your genome. If you ever have a problem conceiving, you know, we can always just do, like, a binary clone. Dude, you're not even funny, because I think you're stupid as fuck, all right? You're just weird, and I ain't worried about you. You just need some long-term psychological help. You're freaking strange. I don't know who put you up to this, but why don't you just go croak, okay? Go just croak. shut up. Don't jump off the goddamn cliff. Which cliff? People like you got no business even breathing the freaking air. Oh, see, that's an ignorant statement. Yeah, so is you touching my car. 
Well, I'm just saying, like, if you ever have low sperm count, then, then you know, it's not going to be a problem. I have a low sperm count. Don't worry about that. I don't have to hide behind a freaking phone call either, because that's what a real man does not do. How is this hiding? You have my I name. I'll come over here and we'll talk about it. I don't want to come over there. You're we have to... a little girl to do that, aren't you? I'm sorry, what was that? You're too much of a little girl to do that. Oh, no, I have a penis. Yeah. Still a little girl, though. I just stay. Just do me a favor. Stay away from me in my house. Okay. okay. I didn't come anywhere near you. Go do your sperm count somewhere else. No, I wasn't bye counting bye. your sperm. I'm just saying if you ever oh, have... Bye-bye. Bye-bye, ha- psycho. Because it sounds like you have impotency problems. This show has not been good for my self-esteem. I've been called weird, psycho, pedophile, faggot, which is a very hateful word. I don't like it. Although those last two lazy insults are probably what Carl Jung refers to as the shadow. They're just projecting their own gross personalities on me. That's what it is. Okay, I'll quit analyzing them before this gets too boring. But that one guy said he's gonna break me in half. So yeah, I need to stop. Plus, I've got more packing to do. I'm only going to play one voicemail today. This episode is short, and it would be kind of crappy to fill half of it up with voicemails from Butthole Winker 34. So let's just listen to one of his. Hey, Butthole Winker. It's King Richard. Um, Hey, King Richard. Hey, uh, I think that you are getting as big and as popular as Brad. And so I think you should, like, come out with... uh, your own boner conventions, and you could, for short, you could call them boner cons. So maybe if the world doesn't end next year, um, I'll be able to attend my first boner con. It's a great uh, idea. Secondly, I uh, just wanted to say that I'm loving being able to download all the boner sodes for free. What? Or not for free, but because I'm a member and all that. And I'm actually going to make an old school mixtape of just my favorite King Richard Very pranks, cute. where he belittles all the women um sorry i'm driving down the freeway here anyway <laughs> anyway i won't keep you any longer say hi to olga for me uh actually i gotta take a shift now that i think of it anyway talk to you later you're gonna boys. shit yourself while driving down the freeway you know butthole winker i'm thinking your obsession with misogyny humor might just be your shadow maybe deep down you want to be a woman yourself and maybe you want a big strong man to pull his pants down and take a massive shit on your chest go read some carl jung i wish you well on your personal journey if you would like to leave the show a voicemail and end up with me psychoanalyzing you you may do so at 404-721-2710 that's going to do it for the show If you want to hear more ding calls, go leave notes, be responsible and careful about it. And please check out the host of other participating shows like Dragon Mirror, Sagacious Zoo, Wasted Memory, Daisy, Wolfiton and Panty, St. Pepe, Dwight, and the especially hilarious Devin Anus Tart. Every single one of them is linked in this episode's show notes which you can find in the description on your podcast app or at anotherprankcallshow.com. Thanks again to Wanna Know My Name for the intro song. Fi, Eric W., LGB Terminator, Lord and Lady of Veggies, and Phone Losers of America for producing, and all of you for listening. APCS will return next month or probably in a couple of days if you're a Patreon supporter. But the wait for episode 33 is going to feel a bit longer since my usual fourth week of the month release schedule should be back to normal. Things are just crazy right now. I'm moving in the middle of a pandemic. The air is full of smoke and ash from wildfires all around me. I'm full of excuses, but please stay tuned. I will be right Back. When the springtime comes again, I'll be with you, my friend. All the places we will see, I know you'll wait for me to the end of days, like yesterday. Through the good times and through the dead 
It's impossible to take 50% of my yard. <laughs>